Hi, I'm Noelle, a registered dietitian uh, from At Motherhood and Meals. I am also a mom of six-year-old twins and a little one that is almost four. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about packing litterless lunches. I have two lunches to show you. And if you've missed it, I actually did a video previously where we talked a little bit about how I make sure that I'm ready for that really busy rush in the morning. So you can go check that out at the link below if you wanted to. So let's move forward then with packing this litterless lunch. One of the things that I'm gonna start with is these homemade muffins that I have. So I'm going to just cut those in half. And sun butter is something that is school safe, so we're very, very cautious about allergies. And if you have someone in your child's class that has a peanut allergy, you wanna check in and make sure that sun butter is gonna be safe for them. But assuming your school has approved it, you can go ahead and use sun butter. Now, sun butter is an incomplete protein on its own, and the grain that is in this muffin, the whole wheat flour, is an incomplete protein on its own. But when we put them together, we actually create a complementary protein. So we now have all the amino acids that your child will need in order to make a protein in their body within the combination here. However, I love to value pack when it comes to nutrient density. And so we can go ahead and we can take these hemp parts, which actually also offer a complete protein on their own. It's rare for a plant-based option, but they do. So we're gonna go ahead and just gonna sprinkle those on here and place it into the lunchbox. And I could do the same thing with all four of those. Moving forward from there, I know that I have my protein and I know that I have a grain. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some more food groups. I wanna make sure that I offer a vegetable as well as a fruit. And it's recommended that we have as many orange and green and red things as possible each day. So for this one, I'm making Wes's lunch right now and he really loves peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in some red peppers for him. I have this homemade hummus that I've already portioned as well. And knowing him, he'll probably use it a little bit for his muffin too, but that's fine. Kids love to dip and that's a great thing. He also really loves snap peas. So that's gonna be his green peas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some snap peas in there along with the peppers. And again, he can dip that into his homemade hummus. From there, we can go ahead and we can add some fruit. And so for him today, I thought that I would add a little bit of watermelon. So we can do, I already have it pre-diced. That one's a little bit big. So I have it pre-diced. I could also have added berries or pomegranate seeds. And then I'm going to give him a little bit more of a booster protein for satiety. I have a mix here that I've already put together. It's roasted chickpeas, roasted soybeans, and some sunflower seeds. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that in there. Raisins would have been another good option. So we have all of our food groups represented except for milk and milk alternatives. Knowing that we have three food groups, knows that we, that we now know then that we cover off long-acting carbohydrates, short-acting carbohydrates, protein, and a variety of vitamins and minerals. We could then send in this a little bit of a milk or a milk alternative such as coconut milk or almond milk if we wanted to, or we could send water we could have, you know, plan on yogurt, say, for an afternoon snack, knowing that we're getting the dairy in there. So there's lots of different options of how you can make sure that your child's lunch is complete. I do have another small container here that would just be perfect for this addition, actually, of raisins. I missed it there at first. So if you have busy mornings, having things planned ahead of time is really wonderful, and hopefully this gives you some nice inspiration when you're going to head uh, to make a lunch. The next one I'm going to show you is one that I would make for clay, but I could make it for Wes as well. It's going to be in clays. It's going to be dairy-free, and it's going to have a warm component. And the second lunch I'm going to show you is something that could be served hot or cold in terms of the main course. So I have my chickpea and black bean uh, pasta mix here, which has a good added protein into what would be uh, typically a grain. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix that with a few uh, other ingredients, and we're gonna put that in the Omibox insulated portion. So what I'm gonna do is put some of this pasta I have pre-made, which is great to have on hand. So I'm gonna pop that into a bowl here. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Now olive oil is great to use fresh, if I was doing something that I was going to heat, I would want to use an avocado oil or a grapeseed oil because we don't want to heat olive oil. Its um, smoke point is actually not very high. And so because of that, we can end up with free radical formation and we don't want that for ourselves or our children. 
So we'll add a little bit of that in. Now clay is dairy free, um, and so I use the diet dairy free uh, shredded cheese for him in place of regular cheese. And I so love that Mabel's labels have these allergy labels available. It's something that um, makes me feel really safe for Clay when he goes to school. So if they are serving something in the classroom during lunchtime, there's an extra snack or something, they see this label and they know, oh right, he can't have dairy. And so that's really important to me. To be honest, I have total mom brain and when I'm packing lunches, I like it as a reminder for myself. Right, this is Clay's, that's Wes's, and if I am making something with a dairy cheese, it's not gonna go into Clay's. So that's a survival tip for me. So anytime that I use shredded cheese, I quite often will use shredded carrots as well steal my spoon um, out of my little seed and, and nut trail mix there. So I went ahead and put that all together. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my insulated portion of the container. You could always add a little more if you wanted to. And then I love to add a hemp heart sprinkle, uh, that complete protein. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that on top. And that's kind of our main course. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put together some sides. So one of the sides that Clay really loves, he loves so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a little bit of cantaloupe in there. We're gonna add some blackberries in there as well. So full of antioxidants and uh, vitamins and minerals and just so wonderful. Clay actually has a little bit of inflammation um, that goes on. That's one of the reasons that he's dairy free. And so I love to give him these rich anti-inflammatory foods to really help with that. Then we'll go ahead and we'll add in some vegetables as well. These halved tomatoes, even though he's six, you never know, kids can get kind of chatting in the, in the lunchroom and just wanna eliminate those choking hazards. So I'd love to just um, send them have just to be on the safe side. In terms of this other compartment here, I'm going to make a trail mix. So I have separately here, I have these roasted chickpeas, I have sunflower seeds, and I have um, roasted soybeans. I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. And then I'm going to add some raisins as well. So just kind of a little, uh, you know, homemade trail mix. This is something you can have on hand uh, already mixed together if you like as well for a quick and easy grab. I could add a little bit of uh, a cereal grain in there if I um, wanted to as well, depending on how much satiety, uh, you know, I wanted for him and what else I thought was uh, going to be in the lunch. Um, so lots of different options there. And I'm actually going to just sprinkle a few pomegranates on top. He really loves them. They add that little flash of color. Um, and so there we have our complete lunch. So last but not least, we have to think about mom. So you have all this prep done. You've, you've made your kids lunches in the morning. It comes to lunchtime for yourself and it can be easy to just not really value the fact that we need to eat too, but we do in order to have energy for the rest of the day. So here's a quick and easy idea for you. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a plate of either romaine lettuce or spinach or kale, whatever greens work for you or a mix of them. And then think about the things that you have prepped in the fridge that you used for your kids. So you can grab some of these peppers, you could put them on the side or you could dice them up. You've got already shredded carrots that you can sprinkle on top. I love to add fruit to my salads. Salads can be boring and it gives excitement when we add a bit of fruit. So berries and pomegranate seeds. I'm gonna take more of those tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit of a crunch and some protein with these nuts and seeds I have mixed together here and roasted chickpeas. And then hemp hearts. Love to add that complete protein of hemp hearts kind of as a sprinkle on top. They have really kind of a nutty crunch to them um, and they're really lovely. You could go ahead with a dairy-free shredded cheese or you could do a regular cheese if you go ahead and have dairy in your diet. You could also top it with a little bit of cottage cheese. That's a really great uh, protein option. And then we take a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. You could mix them together and shake it up a little bit. You could even add a little honey mustard in there and drizzle it on, or just go ahead right from the bottle, quick and easy, go ahead and drizzle those on. You could take any sort of whole grain cracker, sweet potato cracker, beet cracker you might have in your home, or if you happen to have a younger child at home that's having something like a grilled cheese, maybe they don't like their crust, go ahead and cut the crust off. You can have a little crouton on top. So there you have three different lunch ideas. The first two for your kids for school, and then a third one that could be for you at home or perhaps to pack ahead for work. So I'm curious to know, out of those two school lunches, which do you think your kids would like more? The more kind of snack one that has muffins and a bunch of cut up different things, or do your kids love to have kind of that entree piece of the pasta salad or the warm pasta option? Let us know in the comments below. 